Let's get Look it. at it going underwater. Let's it just it. see it disappear. Yep. That's something big on that one. Yeah, All right, let's ease there. up there and see what it is. It's going. It's going. What do you got? Oh, the bigger one. Bigger one? Golly! That's a cat, ain't it? No. That's not a cat. Nope. Look at this. It's got the uh, look at the circle hook, right where it's supposed to be in the corner of the mouth. That's the way those hooks are designed for. See, it stopped the fish from swallowing it and went right in the corner of the mouth. Got one? All right. Don't bitty. fall. It's a, cat <laughs> it's a little dude. small one. Yeah. Yeah, he's too small to keep. We're gonna have to throw him back. See something flouncing. Golly. That looked like catfish. Yeah, they do. They're all over the place out here. Yep. Yep, got another one. Little one. It ain't that little. Paddle. Yeah, well, we may have to use the paddle because the, uh, the grass is trolling good. motor. Yeah. Just ease on. Oh, these are just on top of the water. Just go ease on up there and get it. See what it is. I'm just thr throttling it. Okay. Yep, there we go. Good deal. Not a keeper, but still something. Since the fish were hitting on top of the water, we went ahead and rebaited the noodles, threw them back out. We're using Vienna sausages. One of them is a uh, can canned ham, like a treat. This is what it says on the side of the can, anyway. Treat. We got two people go. We're missing one noodle. Got two people going up in there looking for it, and we are going around here. Whose water bottle? Is that yours? Yep. All right. We got some water back here. We're gonna drain that out as we're going down the river. Hang on a second, let me drop this motor. Okay, and whenever you're taking pictures? Yep, let's see what we got on that one. Look at there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a keeper, ain't it? Close. The close. My yeah, butt. All right. That's good size there. And those two noodles are right where we left them, so I doubt there's anything on them. There's the weight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just drop that back down. Nothing. Uh -oh. Move them noodles. We didn't have anything on the trot line. Move them noodles over here, close to these trees instead of out there in the open. That way if there's anything hanging around these trees, maybe it'll take the bite. All right, Caleb, looks like we got one on this one. 
Pop. Man, what the hell you got on that bike? I don't know. He's on up there, Caleb. Come here. Another grinnel. Another one. Man, if we could eat these, we'd be doing good. The morning of our third day. Stand in a little area overlooking the river. So what have we learned on this trip? That last year we were just pulling the catfish out with a rod and reel right and left. This year we only caught one little small perch on a uh, fishing pole. That during the long term survival situation, outbreak of the plague, long term civil unrest, anything like that that disrupts the food supply, we're going to need teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork. No man, no woman either, we don't want to leave y'all out, is an island. Is that you cannot exist without some type of teamwork. It's like we were setting trot lines, one, my boat was setting trot lines, the other boat was setting out jug lines. We were pulling up those uh, grinnel. We were pulling up grinnel right and left. We were pulling up some catfish. If we had to, we could eat the grinnel. A lot of people do. Another thing is personal hygiene. Safe drinking water, first aid, pre uh, infection, preventing infection. I've got a little cut on my finger and it's a little sore. I hope it's not getting infected. If it is, I'll treat it whenever I get home. We're heading home today. I've got a first aid kit with me. I'm just that for those of you that are planning on bugging out to the wilderness, you really need to get out there and practice your skills before you have to use them. Don't just say, oh man, I've got my bug out bag and I'm ready to go. My family and I were run out of food. We're gonna bug out to the wilderness and we're gonna survive out there and that's get outside and get some practice. Just do something, all right? Just get out there and, and practice your skills. Take your family camp and try gather, gathering uh, wild edible plants. Try fishing. Just do something. But that's how you really prepare for a disaster is by doing something. All right, people. I'll talk to you all later.